Well, hello everyone. You tuned in to a handful of blessings. I'm Kim 1114. Um, I come to do the toe design I'm going to wear for this week. But first off, I want to show you this part of the design first before I go to my toes. So I plan on doing a Hello Kitty design on my toes. And I'm doing it in yellow. So um, the first thing I did, I took, well, I, I searched the internet and I found a Hello Kitty picture that I wanted on my toes. Um... And basically, I just shrank it down to the size that I wanted it and printed it out on regular paint printing paper. And I decided to use a, a coloring like page, uh, Hello Kitty, so I could color it in the color that I wanted it. Um, to me, it, I can use um, the little thin nail polish, uh, nail art paint to color it in and it'll look really bright on my toes. So basically what I did, I just printed out two because I'm just going to put one on... Uh, one on each one of my big toes so it's the same picture and like I said it's just, I just use a regular printer regular print paper and I just cut it out the little block right quick so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take some nail polish with a fine brush on it and I'm gonna color it in and the colors I'll be using is the pink flamingo well it's not pink flamingo it's called flamingo but it, it's uh, like a somewhat like a neon pink somewhat and I'm going to be using this yellow by Kiss. And this one is, I don't know what the name of this one is. I think it's lime green or bright green one. And it's by Nail Art uh, Diamonds. So those are the colors I'm going to use. And I don't have to color in the white area since the paper is white already. I don't have to worry about that. So I don't have to color it in. So basically all I'm going to do is the little outfit, the bow, and the flower. That's basically all I'm going to color in. And I'm going to do both of them pretty much the same way. And I decided to use a light pink on the flower. And this is called Baby Pink by Art Deco. So basically now I'm going to let, let this dry completely. And then I'm going to take some scissors and cut it out. So that's basically all I'm going to do for this part of the design. Okay, so this is the Hello Kitty that I cut out. I cut it out already as you can see. And what I did, I um, took it and I bent it just a little bit. So it'll help lay uh, flatter on my toe when I get ready to put it on there. Okay, so let me tell you what I did uh, for the beginning stages of my toes, basically. Um, basically what I did, I applied my base coat, of course. And then I applied this yellow nail polish it's called bold yellow and it's by uh, nail art by diamonds cosmetics I mean and it has a fine brush on it so I painted my toes with that all over the rest of my toes I painted all over on my big toe I just did a French tip on it and after that got dry I applied this opal glitter by Nail Art uh, Diamonds Cosm Cosmetics. And it has a fine brush on it too. I love this nail polish so much. When I see it, I always buy three or four bottles of it at a time. Um, you pretty much can put this up on top of any color of nail polish and it'll look really, really pretty. So I applied that on the rest of my toes. I applied it all over as you can see. And on my big toe, I applied it all over as well. So next one I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the Hello Kitty on my nails. And I'm going to apply a coat of clear nail polish on my toe. And I want to make sure I got enough on there, so when I apply the Hello Kitty 
on in a stick. And I'm going to take a piece of plastic to hold it, help hold it down. And when you do this, you want to make sure that the nail polish upon the, the uh, your French manicure and everything like that is completely dry before you do this. And you want to make sure it's laying uh, flat to your toe. And as you can see, it's laying pretty flat on my toe now. Okay, so the image is on my toe now. So, um, just a tip. when you're If you're going to use this method of applying images by printing them out on your own you want to make sure that you use um, a, a really good top coat underneath and on top uh, I've tried th doing this method with nail foil adhesive and for some reason when you take a bath or whatever water gets trapped under the image and it kind of smears the image so I find it best to use a fast drying top coat when you're doing this and I, I'm using the one um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it I pronounce it Seshvite, but I know it's probably, I think it's pronounced Seshivit or whatever. So that's what I'm using um, to do this. And also, I applied it, that's what I applied up under the image. And I'm going to apply probably three to four coats on top of the image as well. Just to make sure that it's really sealed good. So you want to make sure you apply at least two or three coats of clear on top of it. And you might notice that the image um, looks a little uh, kind of foggy like. Not foggy, but it looks like it's wet or something, as you can see right in this area here. But when it dries, it turns back uh, to the original way it was. So don't worry about that. And next I'm going to uh, apply a little yellow Fimo flower on my toe. Apply one down here. And I think I'll apply two on there maybe. And I also have some little small uh, Swarovski crystals I'm going to apply on just a few And I'm going to apply another layer of top coat on right quick. So after they dry, I'll probably apply maybe one or two more coats of uh, top coat on after they dry completely. Just to make sure I have the image sealed in good. Um, this is a really, really good way if you want to do a cartoon character on your nails and you can't draw it. For me, I could have drew it on my nails, but it's really difficult 
to draw an image on my toe, on my own toes. I can do it on someone, someone else's, but on my own is really difficult. So I decided to um, print the image out and do it like this. And I decided to use yellow because yellow is my favorite color. So I hope you like the uh, toe design. You can pre pretty much do any image you like on your toes. And it's really, really smooth. So I hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think. And I will talk to you later, YouTube. Till then, take care.